OK, in this exercise, we're going to look at using defining and calling subroutines. Here at the end of the code, we've defined a subroutine called polygon subpolygon, and this sets the angle of a shape that we're going to draw and then draws a line of length 100 and turns through the angle that we've calculated. We've got the number of sides 3, so it'll turn through uh, 360 divided by 3, which is 120 degrees, and draw the triangles. You should be familiar with this from a previous exercise, but we've put all that into a subroutine called polygon. So we only have to define and run this. We want to define it once, and we can run it any time we like. So here is polygon being run. So we come in, set the variables, run polygon, the code will drop down, perform this subroutine, and then exit. Let's see what happens. Good, and you can see that it's drawn our three-sided shape. Now, we can improve on this by writing four number of sides equals what, um, say three, six, calling polygon for each of those, so the value of polygon, the fact the value of the number of sides for the polygon will change, and it's got an end four in there, there we go, and we've got polygon here, letter then we know this is a keyword and we can see that this will now draw several polygons one of three sides in other words a triangle then a four let's see if that works and we can see we've got a triangle a square a pentagon and a hexagon so the task that you were set was to do a similar thing except this time to define your own subroutine called flower. So we do sub flower and I will put the end bit in first so that I know that I've going to close that. And then the idea here is that this is going to do a similar thing. So for I equals one to 36, we'll end the for loop there, there it is, we're going to call polygon and we need to turn the turtle by 10 degrees each time, so it's just slightly offset each time we run the turtle and this is our subroutine flower. So we now need to set the number of sides, otherwise we don't know. We're going to set that to 10. We're going to make the side length just a little bit smaller here because it's too big. And we're going to run, don't run polygon anymore, this time we're going to run a subroutine called flower. So I'll put a comment in, call flower okay so that calls our subroutine flower this is defines the subroutine flower and then because flower calls polygon this defines polygon and you can see that, that code is quite neat let's see what happens now when we run it and we get 10 sided figures each offset by 10 degrees and the whole thing neatly pops round and we should get our little flower shape at the very end. And there we have it.